Hello, my name is Casual K for Beat Stop Pile, and today I'm going to play you a 145 chord progression and then show you the proper location for your bass line. I believe a lot of YouTube videos tell people to put their bass line in the wrong place, and I'm going to show you what I believe is the proper way of doing that. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and play this. Well, we're going to have 145 and then back to the 1. So we're going to have F minor, B flat minor, C minor and back to F minor and then again like I said I'll come in and I'll add the bass line after that Okay, so we have the F, that's L1, B flat, uh, L4, and C, L5. So when we write the bass line in, we're not taking this F all the way across here and with the G, we, that's, that's, I'll actually show you. A lot of YouTubers tell you to, to play your bass line in this position. And this works. I'm not saying it's wrong per se, but it's not the musical way to do it. So listen to this. So like I said, that works, but it's not really, your bass line is not following your chord progression like this. All right, so what you want to do is take this out. So we know this is an F minor chord progression. So this F is fine, but this is a B flat. So these are this B flat is what we need. So you would drop this down an octave, and then with the five, we know it's a C minor. So we want to drop that down an octave, and then back to the one. So this is fine. Drop that down an octave, and then your bass line should actually sound like this. You hear that tension here with the four and the five. Okay, so I played at that play a couple of times so you can hear. Now you I didn't quantize this. I would, you could quantize it like that with Alt-Q. I didn't quantize it because it already has that human feel, but I copied these notes down. So the volume, the velocity was a little off. So I, as you saw me decrease the velocity on the, these and these here, all right? So now let's take these notes and actually put those on the bass. We're gonna copy it because we're not, oops, let's plug, 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 plug. We're gonna just copy them over to the bass. Let's do this. Make it a different pattern. Bass and bass. Put the snap on bar here. And we're going to go in and now when you do this, I would recommend delaying the bass just a little bit so it doesn't hit right up against the keyboard. All right. So. Now, I hope you can hear that on your cell phone also. This, that bass is pretty low. What you can actually do, you can double this up. Oops. So, so hopefully you can hear that F4 where you, where you might not be able to hear the F3. <laughs> So now that is the proper location for your baseline. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. I'm Casual K. Y'all have a nice day.